I think what, if you talk to the gas manufacturers or the diesel manufacturers, they all tell you that motors have to get good clean fuel uh, to run like they're supposed to, uh, especially now with the new tier two requirements. You know, these, these motors are, are tuned right to a, you know, a, a, a real finite spec. So uh, they're counting on good fuel to be able to do that. But you know, obviously with diesel fuel, with, with condensation, algae grows a little more readily than it does in, in gas. So it's important to keep it out. You know, we tell everybody if you're going to store your boat for a long period of time, just fill the tank up. You know, so there is no room for the condensation to you know to grow algae on top of the fuel because you know that's where it grows is on top of the fuel and then attaches to the side of the tank. Diesel probably does have a little bit of a reputation because of the algae requiring cleaner fuel. But that's not the case. I mean, the gas engines, they'll, they'll tell you they require, you know, they want pure gasoline at a certain standard. And, and uh, but, you know, I think where the major difference is, is the gas is turning the fuel over a lot more. So it's not sitting in the tank as much, doesn't have as much opportunity, uh, you know, to exceed its shelf life and, and start separating out. Uh, where the diesel does, because they're just not using as much fuel, uh, you know, some of the consumers that don't put you know, a thousand hours a year, if they're putting a hundred or two hundred hours a year, you know, on, on some of the bigger boats, that may be one tank of fuel all year. So it's gonna, it's gonna take them, uh, you know, a little bit of some additives or something like that to ensure that they, they don't get a lot of condensation in that fuel tank.